Yo, this is the Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And our sponsors are Alpha Claims and Hire, Birmingham, the leading and best accident management company. Get a replacement car anywhere in one hour. I really appreciate you joining me today and these stories come from Manchester in the north of England. Thank you to our Manchester subscribers for all the support that you give to the channel every single day. A lot has been going on in Manchester this month. We're going to start with some breaking news. From yesterday, a murder investigation has been launched in Oldham in Greater Manchester and six people have been arrested on suspicion of murder. A male was stabbed in the early hours of March the 25th and police were called to Flora Street on the outskirts of the city centre at 3am on Thursday following reports of an altercation. The victim in his 20s was taken to Royal Oldham Hospital and he was later pronounced dead. Six people remain in police custody for questioning but at the moment no one has been charged. Detective Chief Inspector Ben Cottam from Greater Manchester Major Incident Team said our thoughts are with the family of the victim. While this is believed to be an isolated incident, with no wider threat to the public, our team of detectives are working to establish the circumstances behind the death. Three men and three women were arrested in this incident. And as of yet, there is no updates. But that is the latest, as the police say, in an increase in violence in the city. So that's a murder scene. Police, uh, Charlie was up. Charlie was up. But I'm, I'm, I mean, he's a lovely lad, Charlie. But he doesn't know nothing. He doesn't know nothing about the area. I can tell you on that landing, there's a fucking pedo lives on that landing. And there's no quarter for, off me for any drug dealers or anything on our estates. We're not having them. We're not having them. A documentary aired yesterday on BBC Two about organised crime groups in Manchester. And they highlighted the brutality of some of the gangs that was laid bare in this show that involved torturing people with blow torches, injecting them with heroin and even sexual abuse as a punishment, they said. In one scene from the documentary, it shows a young girl being aware that her dad was kidnapped at gunpoint in her house. She even goes on to identify the weapon that was used. And this is the reality, these sorts of cases. No, no, you're talking. Right. I love the guy killed daddy. They're not, listen to me, darling. Listen. In one of the stories in it, they say that a victim was taken from a house in Denton where he was tortured for 25 hours and a ransom demand of 34 grand was paid. A blowtorch was put to his ears, an iron was pressed on his knees and he was injected with heroin during the ordeal. The man is just one of many that have fallen victim to the brutality of Greater Manchester's notorious crime gangs. The new documentary lays bare the organised crime gangs in the city as the major crime team tried to take them down. The first episode of The Detectives focuses on the kidnapping and torture of men in November and December of 2018. They say there is a massive increase in relation to gang kidnappings in the city and they believe they are connected to the drug world. So that was a good documentary that give a good insight into what has been going on in Manchester. And in relation to the latest gang news, police have said they've launched an operation in the area due to violence that has increased, mainly in Cheatham Hill. The police say they're investigating two incidents in one day where armed men were reported to have fought in the street and there was weapons and firearms involved. It's not known at this stage if they are linked in the freeway gang war they say that is occurring with one of the gangs from Salford and this has resulted in a spate of shootings in the past year. The dispute they say has been tackled by police and there has been no shootings for several months but the latest incident on Tuesday shortly before 4pm where police were called to reports of 30 males fighting on Berry New Road in the Strangeways area. Witnesses says some were armed with bats and other weapons and police turned up but they didn't find any evidence of fire firearms being used. It is believed that a large group of men were chasing a lone male and he was knocked to the ground and viciously assaulted. No arrests have been made and no victims identified. In the second incident at 10.20 on the same day, police received a report that nine men were fighting in Cheatham Hill and one was armed with a gun. Police again responded but they had all fled and there was no reports of injuries. This comes a couple of days after a woman was shot in Cheatham Hill. She was aged in her 30s and she was shot in the back of the leg by a gunman who wore a mask on March the 8th next to Great Cheatham Street East. Police successfully said they've defused some of the gang wars that had occurred in the area, but it seems now a lot of incidents are connected. They say it has resulted in young men being shot, cars being hit and homes having drive-by attacks. 
They say the gangs are from Broughton, Salford and Cheatham Hill and they are all clashing with each other. The operation is called Hamus and it was set up in 2019 to tackle the violent gun wars in the city. It involves high profile and also covert policing and involvement of children's agencies and adult services, housing associations to divert people away from gangs and some people's homes that are being used to sell drugs from. Superintendent Rebecca Boyd from G Greater Manchester Police said, this operation has been ongoing for the past year and we we are attributing the multi-agency response to the result that we have had. 45 young people have been safeguarded away from being involved in gangs and we believe that this is going to get better. In some other news from the Harper Hay area that we've also covered on the channel in the past, police have found a Glock 17 style gun and a man has been arrested after a dramatic chase. And found a gun after hearing a loud bang while they was out on patrol. Police that was in the Moss Bank area in Harper Hay heard a firearm discharge at 5.30 on Wednesday the 24th of March. A man carrying a black bin liner was spotted fleeing the scene near Vernon Street and officers gave chase. He tried to get back into a black Ford Focus parked on Vernon Street but he made off from police and continued to run away. After a chase from Vernon Street to Wembury Street, around half a mile distance, a 23-year-old was arrested on suspicion of firearm offences. Police found the Glock inside the bag on Whiteway Street. A Ford Focus was also found locally on Norbert Walk, and they're trying to find out if the firearm was discharged. No injuries have been reported, but there was damage to a property in the area. They believe that this was a targeted, but it's not known if it's linked to any other incidents in the city. The incident, they said, shows the bravery of officers that are potentially put in arms way and they do not have firearms so as i said it's been very busy in manchester and in some other news as well from the 25th of march five men were arrested in raids across the city they say they found 10 grand's worth of class a drugs and a potential gun as well officers from the greater manchester police division and the intelligence development unit as part of operation challenger and the northwest regional organized crime unit executed warrants at five addresses across the city on thursday during the raids this is part of Operation Apostle. So this is about four different operations that are ongoing in relation to drug gangs in Manchester at this current moment. They remain in custody, they say, for questioning. At around 5am, they raided properties in the home, Moss Side and Manchester. They found two grand's worth of cash and the firearm as well. The activity forms part of the clampdown on organised drug gangs in the area. Over a period of time, officers have been gathering evidence and intelligence leading to the activity that has occurred today. Police said they intervened in the crime in the area and this will definitely have a big effect. So that is the latest and brief update coming from Manchester. I really want to hear what people have to say on these stories please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and follow us online as well at scar city studios peace